I set that as my goal, to understand how genes were regulated and expressed in human cells. Philip Sharp revealed that DNA is not one continuous strand of genetic material, but separate segments, with its RNA copy able to splice out the irrelevant DNA portions. And good fortune led us to being among the first to actually make the insight that the gene structure was very different. Sharp's discovery of split genes and RNA splicing was recognized in 1993 by the Nobel Committee. Soon often ignored RNA would hold great promise in the study of diseases and their treatments. Today, Sharp and his lab continue to explore our gene structure by examining double-stranded or small RNAs. We're hoping that this insight of the presence of these small RNAs will lead us to being able to use these small RNAs as therapeutic agents to silence genes to treat disease. Sharp recognized the power that the convergence of biology and technology could have on drug therapies and emerged as an early pioneer of the biotech industry. In 1978, he became one of the founding members of present-day Biogen IDEC and continues to be an active voice in the industry. Technology's enriched us in enormous numbers of ways. It's created challenges as well, but it's enriched us. One of the great pleasures of being a scientist and particularly a professor is that you are able to have young colleagues join you and doing science in your laboratory for periods of five or so years and work with them in the exploration of the unknown.